Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a winter wardrobe sort out because it's getting really chilly now and I haven't got very thick jumpers out. I've got like these jumpers but they're not overly thick. So I want to do a little bit of a sort out as well because I realise I have a lot of clothes that don't fit me anymore. So and ones that I don't really wear. So I'm going to do a bit of a sort out and then once lockdown is over because we're still in lockdown we've got a week left. I'll uh, take it to the charity shops. What is on my forehead? Take some bits and pieces to the charity shops. Um, but yeah, so I want to have a massive sort out and put some shoes away. Because I've got loads of mules in my wardrobe that I obviously won't wear because it's winter. So I'm going to put them away as well. So um, we're just going to do that together basically today. So I hope you enjoy. So the rain is pouring, it will always be so I've like started partially. These little bits are going to go in the summer box. This is just stuff that I need to refold. Stuff down there has got to go in my loungewear box and my gym wear stuff. I'm going to hopefully half this because I want to get rid of a few jeans because I literally don't wear them. I'm going to put some boots in there. And we're going to try and tackle this. I put some boots in there already as well. So I have a new order coming from Ego today, which actually should be here soon. Should have been already actually. Um, so I've got that coming, which I'm gonna do a little bit of a haul for you. So yeah, you'll probably see it after this thinking about it. It's a Black Friday sale haul, so that's exciting. I have also stuff coming from Pretty Little Thing, Misguided. Just because I wanted a little bit of a revamp, I've bought like some shirts, new jeans, because the jeans I have in there I literally do not wear. And I want to try some different styles, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do because some of the clothes I just haven't worn in ages and um I've kind of revamped it a bit, so yeah, and then this is the bag for the charity shop. So let's stick you on a time lapse and see where we go. Christmas lights are all around. I can see them now. So it's been a while since I actually picked the camera up. So since then I had to charge the battery for this camera, so that's been quite annoying. So I've had to leave it for a few hours. So right now it is quarter past six in the evening and the lighting here is terrible. I've had an order come from Ego. Woo! So excited about them. Um I've got a mess everywhere. I've got a bag here which is ready for the charity shop of things that I've cleared out. I've actually cleared out quite a lot so far of things that I literally don't touch and things that don't fit me. So I still need to go through this bit, which we'll go through now. I've just brought in all my knitwear that I've put on the line to freshen it up a bit, and it's got a bit wet, so I've put it all on the radiator for now. And then when it's dry, I'll shove it in the wardrobe, because what I've done so far, it cleared a big space here. So I've got all my jeans, um, gym wear, and work wear in there. So I've got this big space where I can put all my jumpers now. So I can fold them all up, because it's more practical when they're all folded up. I feel like I need these pretty lights on. Should we, just put, should we put them on? I think we should. Because it just looks a bit boring in the background without that. I have this little remote and it's just... Oh, my outfit was on. Like Christmas. Hey kiddos, so pretty again. I do apologise for the lighting in here because this is rubbish. Like the lighting in my bedroom is absolutely terrible. Because it's really dark over there as you can see. Because this house is so old. Like this is literally like in the weirdest place possible. So I'm going to pop you on a time lapse. And we're going to go through this section and put stuff away that's summer stuff again because I have quite a few summer dresses that I picked up in the sales um, and I'll put them away as well probably get rid of a few because I have far too many Ugh, I'm just looking at like every time I go in this wardrobe I think oh I, I have nothing to wear but obviously I do it's just not all practical stuff so yeah I need to like cut it down massively because I look in there and I'm like I have nothing to wear when I actually do so yeah I need to cut that down so let's uh, stick in the time up it's like they spell your name it's insane pieces Ooh, bit dark have entered the bag i've got like this denim skirt that i literally have worn in ages and it's a bit too short for me this i've literally worn once and not really worn it again this i've worn once not worn it again loads of different pieces that like i just don't seem to get my wear out of plus i've got all my knitwear out and i'm just gonna fold it all up and pop it in there i still don't think i'm gonna have enough room though i've decided i'm gonna hang all my tops up 
I still feel like that I'm not being brutal enough. I don't know. It's really hard, to be honest. I've had this skirt for like five years and only worn it like twice. But this is gorgeous. I'm never getting rid of this. And this is my problem. Do you see what I mean? <laughs> but I have all my nice... I have like my wardrobe in sections. So I'm going to have tops, skirts. So like long skirts, short skirts, jumpsuits, long dresses, short dresses. Um... Like strappy dresses, going out dresses, um, shirt dresses, jumpsuit there. Just one jumpsuit. I've actually just got one jumpsuit, wow. And then all of these are jackets and blazers basically. And then I have a, a dress there that I need to shoot tomorrow. And then I have some boots down here. I need to tidy this up again because this just gets a mess every time. And I need more room for my shoes really because I have them to go in yet. So... That's my summer pile, like, my transition pile is what I had. But I didn't even wear them anywhere, so I'm going to put them in the boxes. God knows if they'll fit, I highly doubt it, but we're going to go with it. And then I'm going to hang all these little tops up as well. And that's basically what we're going to do next. Hope you're enjoying this so far. I might just go through those as well. They're my bag boxes, so I'm really need to condense them down. Because three boxes of bags is ridiculous for me. condensed down a bit more and you can actually move things like before it was so hard to get things in and out and i'm hoping to keep it this way but we'll see i feel like i've got so many random like bits and pieces like i have such a different color palette like i'm trying to figure out what i actually like because obviously i don't wear the same sort of colors all the time i change within the seasons does anyone else feel like that during um like different times of the year i kind of change like quite a lot with colours because in the summer I was loving pink and now I'm loving clear black, brown, nudes, neutral colours. I really like that sort of palette. Now I'm looking at this and I literally do not have that. It's just all over the place really. So um, I'm going to crack on with the knitwear now because it's a mess on the floor. So let's sort that out. <laughs> Okay, so, so far, not a lot is fit, fitting in here, and this is just cardigans, like, oh dear. Oh, <laughs> so that was good on there. So I just had this on the radio, and I thought I'll put it in there so I can section it off. And um, I really am not going to fit a lot in here. I think I'm going to end up putting, you know, the Vestal jumpers. I'll probably end up putting them there at this rate, but the really thick ones I'm going to put in here if they fit. So I'm going to go see if they're dry. And then put them in. Oh, oh, no. oh no, I forgot about this, guys. That's not good. Let's do that. Okay, knitwear is in. I have a couple more jumpers to add into here. But not too bad, actually. But I do realise that I actually haven't got a lot of jumpers, like thick ones. I've got these two, and then I've got a jumper dress, cardigans. There's hair on that. That is annoying. I think I've got some jumpers in the wash. But I don't really have a lot of thick jumpers thinking about it. Oh, let's just address the fact I have a beanie on my head. I wanted to ask your opinion. Like, do I suit these? Because I used to be absolutely obsessed with these when I was younger. Now I have a mustard one in there. But I don't really like that colour too much. So I'll put it in the charity bag. Now this one I'm not really too sure on. What do we think? Like, Do I suit it? Do I not? I want, you, I want your opinions. It feels nice and cosy. But I just don't know whether I should keep it or not. And what will it go with? Because burgundy is quite a difficult colour. Now I do have a burgundy like vest jumper in here. But there's not many things I feel like it will go with. Maybe like... A cream top or jumper even with boot these boots and some black jeans maybe and that would maybe look cute yeah i don't know let me know um so i'm going to clear out these little bits here down in the uh trainer area i still feel like i've got um too much stuff in there like i really need to condense it down even more like i feel like this skirt should go but then this is a gorgeous skirt from river island i feel like i should get rid of these three skirts because i want to i wanted to buy this pleated skirt <laughs> So this bit seems to be done so far. I'll just put some little gloves and my Gucci belt down there because there's nowhere else to put it. Because I had all my accessories and bits and pieces in this tray, should we say? Yeah. Um, because I have them like everywhere, but I'm really not liking the rose gold anymore. I don't know why. I've just gone off it really. So I took them all out. I kind of want to get rid of that one, but it's 
kind of useful so far so i'll keep that in there for now so let's move on to the boxes but first um this is the reality of my bed right now so need to sort that out so i'll do that first. but also wanted to show you my nice new chair if you follow me on instagram you would have seen this it was either this or the pink one that i was gonna get but i thought you know what i really like how i have a lot of green going on all the plants and like i'm turning into that crazy plant lady so i thought this was going to be really lovely in my room it's 79 pound from denalm and it's beautiful like they had the shell shaped ones but they were like over 100 pound oh yeah i did my nails as well by the way they're not really like they're not really weird in this light in the camera it doesn't look like that in person i, I promise you they're not even that color that's well weird they're more of a nude this looks like a yellow on camera but it's not the proper shoe they had this in a shell kind of shape if that makes sense and then really nice posh looking ones. I thought oh, that I'd get it because I really like these chairs. I just think that they're gorgeous and it's like a nice green velvet. Gorgeous, gorgeous gold legs and I'll put this together myself. I know it, that's not like very hard to do but I don't do much DIY so I was quite proud of myself doing this myself. So it, it kind of gathers a bit of dust down here though so that's kind of annoying. So I just stick my finger down it and it gets rid of it. But you can't see the colour very well but if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen that this is a gorgeous green like a dark dark foresty green say yeah and it's actually really comfortable to sit in so i'd actually buy these as um dining room table chairs because that's what they're actually for but i thought it looked nice on my desk the big chair that was there before was just taking up too much room so i thought i'd get a smaller chair and it just fits perfectly so i love that wow this is this is a mess like a big mess this is bad <laughs> but let's clear up let's go tidy-ish again so now to get the bag down and sort that out now got my little ego shoes over there this bag is clearing uh, up quite well i'm glad that i've got a fair few things in there because i really don't wear all this stuff that's in here so i'm glad that i've done that so this is the funny part for you guys you get to watch me struggle get these heavy boxes down off my wardrobe i hate doing this I have way too many bags, like, it's ridiculous how many bags I have. I literally just hoard them. So, um, let's go through these, and, um, hopefully I'll get rid of you. As we decorate the tree, only you and me, I'll be making plans, make you how it's looking i've kind of like sorted them out into sections i've actually only got rid of like three bags which um is quite bad actually because i've actually got so many bags like in here they're kind of like quite small bags so i've got like quite classy sort of bags by the way there's a video coming it might already be out before this video actually goes live because i reviewed these bags they're from like instagram what are they called instagram you know where you get the ads that come up in your instagram stories of like these different bag retailers and things so i bought them and um, i had a really bad experience with one of the brands that was included go and check that out it will yeah it, i think it'll be live by then but you know what let's go through and i'll show you where all these are from i did do a recent bag collection video but since then it has grown quite a lot these three here so this is like a prada jute bag Louis Vuitton jute bag, Bottega Vianetta jute bag, these are all from Primark. This cute little bag, I actually used quite a lot last year in the autumn winter season. That's from Topshop, this is from them brands in that video that I was mentioning to you a minute ago. And I have two Kurt Geiger bags, one's fabric, one's real leather. So my second bag I didn't buy in real leather because I didn't want any real leather products. So all these bags here are um, a vegan leather, so I'm quite happy with that. And these are like, you know, faux leather and, what, and things like that. And this is my designer dupe box. So this is like the Chloe, is it Chloe Drew? I think. I think that's it. I'm not too sure. Um, and then I've got the Valentino kind of bag. Bottega Viennetta style bag. Gucci, Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton Dior, Dior. Um, obviously these aren't real at all. Um, another Louis Vuitton, another fake Gucci ones down there. I think there's one here as well, excuse me. Yeah, my absolute favourite. Christine Dior dupe. 
absolutely excuse me absolutely love them and so this is my favorite box basically i haven't worn this bag in a while though so i need to get my wear out of that but the main bag that i wear is that little one down there which is a backpack you can't see that very well this is my old gym bag and i don't really like it if i'm honest because i use that louis vuitton one down there all the time literally haven't even used this haven't used that so they're going in there because i ain't going to use them and um this is my vegan leather backpack it looks a bit worse for wear it's a bit squished now this is my like proper bigger handbag style box that i've just sorted out so this is my absolute gem of a river island bag like this is the best river island bag i've ever bought and then this is second best because this isn't that big inside but i don't want to get rid of them because they're stunning and obviously they're not going to do them anymore so i'm keeping hold of them and this is like a chanel chanel lunchbox bag kind of thing then i've got a straw bag there i've got let's just take them out so you can see it straw bag from primark because we love them in the summer i have this gorgeous river island fluffy faux fur bag which goes with one of my coats and then this is like oh, is it is it the valentino or something i can't remember what this was i think it's louis vuitton dupe kind of bag as well that i bought from the market and then these lovely bags absolutely adored these years ago if you followed me for quite a long time you would have remembered that i um broke this bag on the way to running for, for the bus one day and there it is, ripped off on the side. And I've still got these because these are great if I need to take loads of things and I really want a nice handbag. And I just really like them. I don't feel like I ever want to get rid of them. So they're staying. And I'm quite bad. I hoard things, don't I? I've just noticed that. Well, I haven't just noticed that. I know that I do these things. So I know that there'll be an occasion where I use these bags. And when I move out and get a house with Adam, I'm going to have a walk-in wardrobe and all these are going to be on display, so I will use them more often. But right now, they have to stay in a box, but at least they're staying clean in a box, so that is the main thing. So I'm going to pop these little bits here, in there. Oh. Disney! Oh, I miss Disneyland. It's like the best place. You're like in a different world when you're in Disneyland. If you haven't already, check out my Disneyland vlog because you'll love it. It was so much fun. Now I'm going to put these back. Oh, there! Oh, it looks so bare! Oh my gosh. I'm quite proud of myself for how much I've managed to um, get rid of. Not doing too bad there. Quite a few things that I've cleared out that I've always thought about clearing out. So I'm quite happy with that. Made a big dent. All nice and tidy again. Fit a couple more jumpers in there. The thing is I don't want to get too much stuff and cram it up again like that. Looks ridiculous but it's, yeah, I'm just going to have to stay like that. All my black boots down there. What do you think of these boots? I feel like these are a love-hate thing. These are like £5 off Ego earlier. No, was it last year? Earlier in the year? I can't really remember. I feel like it looks a lot better though. It just looks so much more tidy. Don't you think? Oh, another pair of boots that I haven't worn yet, which I want to wear. These like nude boots, but like they'd look nice with maybe an all black outfit or a white jumper with black jeans. I mean, I can seem to like black quite a lot. But yeah, that is what's going on. That is a little update of my room. Do we like the green that's going on? Feel like it's everywhere love this seat though it's gorgeous also wanted to show you this lovely little corner where i have some gorgeous pampas grass from primark lovely vase and candle this is where i seem to store my little hair stuff now because it's what i use every day quick shout out about this for breeze what for breeze limited edition air mist in frosted pine absolutely love it and it makes me feel like i'm in a forest because i've got all my green things in here i just love it it smells so good you know what? i'm gonna spray it up because it smells really good Spray it everywhere. I like to spray it all over there as well. And on the carpet. On my foot. And this carpet. Love it. Smells amazing. I also kind of like getting ready for Christmas down here as well. Little Christmassy things. Little things that I need to shoot for Instagram over there. Which is quite exciting. So yeah. That is my winter wardrobe update. And I bought a few things. Which you'll see in a haul that's coming soon because i bought a few things like i said bought some would you believe i have bought two shirts and a shirt dress and it has buttons on it i don't know what's gonna come over me i really just wanted a shirt dress and a shirt to wear vests over yeah i feel like my sense of style is changing massively and i bought like split hem jeans as well and now I'm, i think i'm gonna end up making an order on nasty girl tonight oh dear but i really wanted to a wardrobe revamp update in a way because i like to do that especially when i've like went through excuse me guys sorry sorry if that made you yawn as well i like to see what i've got and add little bits to it 
but like all the things that I've had in this bag, I have had for either years, yeah, pretty much years, or like at least a year or more. I don't just chuck things out willy nilly that I've had for a few months because what's the point in buying it? Because I try and be careful with what I buy because obviously we don't want to buy into loads of fast fashion and that's not something I like to do. I like to buy pieces that I know that I'll wear and actually get my wear out of. This is why I'm being quite conscious of what I'm buying. So I bought some lovely pieces that I know will go with so much, especially like knitwear. Like I've got rid of a few knitwear pieces because you know what? A lot of knitwear that's gone in the wash and then my mum's like put it in the tumble drawer. And it's not supposed to go in the tumble dryer, but she didn't know that, so it kind of shrank. So I've lost a fair bit of knitwear. That's basically what's in this bag, really. It is a lot of clothes that don't fit me, and a fair few pieces like jeans that I literally don't wear. Like this year, I feel like jeans has been something that I've started to not like because I think we can all relate to this how loungewear and joggers and just comfortable things on our legs is what we need. Because jeans, just no, I don't really want to wear them, to be honest. I've really enjoyed filming this vlog. I'm really sorry how like, the lighting's been really rubbish throughout. I hope you've enjoyed regardless of like what this video turns out to be. I hope you've enjoyed it anyway. I hope you're all okay during lockdown. This is something that I wanted to do just to like make me feel a bit more, I wouldn't say productive, just to feel a bit more clearer in my mind because when I've done this to my room, I feel like I've got a new perspective and I feel a bit updated and I see what I've got in my wardrobe. So I'm happy with that, happy with what I've got. And um, I tend to put a lot of stuff in storage, as you would have seen, like there's a big bag of things that I had in there that are mainly summer stuff. So I tend to put that in storage and then as it goes round again, I'll go for it, see what I like and what I don't like and just do the same cycle basically. So let me know if you enjoyed these kind of wardrobe clear out, decluttering, reorganising sort of videos because my last autumn one you guys seem to love, which I'm actually quite shocked about because I love watching them sort of videos. I love watching them sort of video. I'm really glad that you guys like that too. So please let me know if you like this one as well. I'll t I'll do it every season if you guys really like it. And I'll keep it up because it's really nice to film it. And see where my wardrobe has like been updated. Blah blah blah. How my style has changed and things like that. So it's nice to look back on as well. So I swear we need to get a yawn counter on my channel. Because the amount of times that I yawn just shows how tired I am. Bella's just having a fit in the garden. Okay Belle. Now I'm going to put this bag... Downstairs, this is literally how I sit. I literally sit like this. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this bag downstairs. It's ready for the charity shops when they reopen. So now they will probably like some donations. So I like to have like charity shops I tend to prefer to do that. Other than that, I'm gonna stop waffling. Really hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please smash the thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more of these sort of videos on my channel and whether you'd like to see them seasonally and i will be more than happy to film that for you guys i'm gonna start getting back into vlogs like i feel like vlogmas needs to be a thing like i might start doing weekly vlogs again throughout christmas throughout december even and just see how that goes because i really really miss vlogging and picking up the camera and just chatting away to you guys because it's just really nice to do that and i want to do some vlogs maybe of like baking or show you what i do on days off or also like ways that, that i'm changing the way i do christmas shopping because as much as i'm doing it online i'm trying to incorporate more small businesses this christmas and because I've got this gift guide going out. I've actually shopped on a few places on that gift guide. So if you'd like to shop small like I am this year. Like I don't think there's been anywhere so far that I've bought from that isn't a small business. Which I'm actually quite proud about thinking about it. So I'm going to continue to do that. I'm going to stop waffling now because I've literally waffled for like 10 minutes straight. I shall see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you back here. And to see you in my next video. And to have you as part of this lovely channel. Because it's really nice to have you guys part of it. So thank you so much for coming along with this journey. And I shall see you very soon for a brand new video. Bye.